Hey guys, good morning. It's Callie. Happy Mother's Day. It's a beautiful, sunny, sunny day here. Um, and I'm looking forward to being outside later and getting some more sunshine, spending time on the deck, tending the seedlings. I wanted to give you a quick update. I just posted uh, another video here on my Master Cleanse. It's day seven today. Can you guys believe it? I've made it through... Um, a full week of this and I'm feeling great I'm really starting to feel the effects now I'm not hungry at all if you can believe it or not um, after day two you don't feel any hunger I'm not going to talk a lot about the cleanse here on this channel because I promised I wouldn't so I have those other separate videos but day seven I'm gonna go to day ten and then we'll see I'll reevaluate from there so um, what have I been doing this week? Let me see. I, earlier in the week, I had told you I needed to tackle that mountain of coupons. I did. I, it took me a full day, but I just committed to it and I plowed through it and got it, got her done. Uh, so that felt good. And then just hung out with Tom. I was feeling, uh, devoting all this time and energy to the cleanse, really. I told you I haven't been doing a lot of art. Um, I have been keeping up with my written journal daily, which is great, um, and I'm really enjoying that, and I think I might continue to do that uh, when it's over, but I do have a few things that I worked on this week, uh, including a fail that I'm going to show you, and nobody likes to fail, right? But I'm going to try, try again, so I'll show you that, but what did I do this week? Uh, so Tom and I hung out a lot, and on Friday night, I went to see my dear friend, Patty Greco, Sunshine, perform. It's the first time in 21 years that I've seen her perform live, and I've never seen her do her one-woman show. She was freaking amazing. I am so blessed to know her, and Patty, you rock, girlfriend. By the time she was done, she had the audience eating out of her hand, so I was thoroughly entertained. I knew I would have a good time. But I had a great time times 10, exponentially. Uh, we all had just a really, really great time. So support your local talent, support local music, support your local theater. Uh, I got a chance to check out this, you know, where she played was an old, you know, theater from the 30s that was all Art Deco and gorgeous old theater that they're trying to renovate. And there's a lot of uh, local theater actors who perform. So... I love live theater. Um, I got into it a little bit a few years ago, um, and I could talk more about that another time, but love, support your local theater. So that was great. And Patty, you're amazing again. Um, what else? Yesterday was my granddaughter Cameron's second birthday, and Allie, you had asked me how if I had two children or not. I have three. I have my oldest daughter, Rachel. She's 30, and she lives in North Carolina, and she has two of my wonderful grandchildren, Riley Marie, who is three, and Jacoby, who's about six months. Rach, don't kill me if I didn't get that right. And my son, Jonathan, is 28, and he has my grandson, Sean, who's 10, and my youngest daughter, Danielle, has my she's 26 and she has my grandson Carter who is five and my granddaughter Cameron who turned two yesterday so we went to Chuck E. Cheese that dirty rat as my friend Kat likes to call him <laughs> hi Kat hi Caitlin um, but we went there for to get super saturated with flashing lights and games and and rats dancing and and it was fine. It was fun. I, You know what? I have a blast there. Um, and I wanted to share with you, I took a lot of pictures. And those of you guys who see, follow me on Facebook, you've seen um, some of the pictures that I posted. But what you didn't see were some pictures of Tom and I. And they have a booth that morphs your photo. So I don't know if any of you guys haven't seen what my boyfriend looks like. But this is Tom and I. I'm going to share a couple of these. This is Tom and I in the photo booth at Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, I was dying. Here we go. So you can see we had we had a blast. And this is look at the I'm an alien. Love it. I think this one's my favorite. So that was a lot of fun. And then we came back home last night and 
just in time to go to the auction. Go figure. So it was really crowded there last night, too. And um, it's always fun. So we got there, and I am going to show you what I got. I didn't get a lot. Um, again, how much do I need? You know, it gets to the point. There's so many things that I see there that if I had the room for or if I needed to refurnish my home, they always have incredible jaw-dropping deals on furniture, like full dining room sets go for $25, um, you know, bedroom sets and bookcases and shelving and, you know, all these things. But after a while, you know, who has room for this stuff? But it just, you hate to let things go. But I do, in fact, let things go. And I'm going to show, do you hear the Blue Jay outside? He is just cawing away. So that's Mr. Blue Jay. I've had a million of them on my porch. And the Baltimore Oriole has been back. Lots of finches, red and gold. I spend my day watching the birds. Cardinals, hummingbirds all day, every day. Now my one hummingbird seems to have found a mate. So there are two of them. And uh, I'm just, oh God, I love my life. Have I told you I love my life? Love my life. So anyway, first thing I got at the auction was this. Look at this, you guys. Okay, at first I thought it might be a candlestick holder, but then when I showed it to Patty, she was like, oh, you know, for cone incense. And you know what? She's absolutely right, because if I were to put a candle in there, it would drip all over. These are glass. They're not plastic. All over these amazing crystal crystally balls obviously they're not real crystal but um so that super cool and you know what i have to admit i don't normally play games at the auction or try to outbid people or anything else but there's a couple of people sometimes who just i don't know you want to outbid them is that bad i know karma will come back to me but there were these two girls who were very um, label-conscious kind of girls, and they spent a lot of money, and they were buying up everything, and I really wanted this, and they started bidding. So I kept bidding up, and I bid up a lot more than I would normally. So, yeah, I got so I got this, and uh, he's yelling at me. He's standing on top of the feeder right now. I think he's telling his friends that there's food there. Anyway... Uh, so I got this for $12 along with this blown glass, tulip glass, like a wine glass with blue glass. And it's not, was not my style at all. Very beautiful, but not my thing. So there's always a group of, you know, friends around and stuff. And Hope was behind me and I forget the, her friend's name, but I just kind of reached behind me with the glass and passed it back to them. And they were like, oh, you're giving this, this to us? And I said, yeah. So the woman took it and they were looking it up on Google. I mean, people search their iPads and everything to check prices on items and stuff. I don't do things like that. I'm not buying to resell things. You know, it's one thing if you have a store or you're going to try to resell it on eBay. But anyway, um, they were happy with that. So I'll show you what happened to that glass because as they were leaving last night, it shattered. And my stepson, Nick, came in and was like, do you want the glass pieces? Because he knows how much I craft and I use everything. And it's this beautiful blue glass. And I said, yeah, yeah, I'll use it in mosaic, mosaic or something. So we went out and scooped up the glass and I have it. And I'll show you some of the pieces. Um, it's in a something else I got. So it came back to me uh, anyway. So this and that shattered tulip glass. And then the second thing I got were... I thought this was cool. I got two two things like this. Um, they still have the original screws. They've never been used. And they're like magazine racks, I guess. You know, that you can... I'm going to hang this on the inside of my pantry door. Hello, hello. On the inside of my pantry door. Or, see, the one storage closet I have all my spool racks on, so I can't hang it there. But maybe I'll hang it inside the closet because I could use this to hang to hold a lot of scrap paper and things like that, right? Because I don't have I don't I used to have a lot of magazines laying around and I don't I keep very few anymore. So 
I can't think of anything in the pantry that I would store in there, um, honestly. So we'll see. But I'll find some use for this. And it's good. It's that coated metal. Uh, again, never been used. Still has the tag. Uh, I don't know. Maybe $3. I can't even remember. Um, the total at the auction last night was $40. And that included a $20, um, not a weed whacker, but an edger that Nick wanted. So $40 total, including that $20 edger of what I'm going to show you. And then along with that white one came this one. And this I thought I could either, I thought maybe I could use it in the refrigerator, but not really. I am going to put this in the pantry, I think, for cans or something. I'll find some use for it. It's just, you know, it's a Virgo organizer's dream to have things that you can organize things in. So... I'll definitely come up with a use for that. So I got those. And then the last thing that I bought the, um, was, it's going to be hard for me to show you, but it's a, a pots to plant in, including all these bases, random bases that don't fit anything that I got. And actually Tom originally, when he went to pick these up, he left these down there and he was like, you don't want those, do you? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I do because I have pots that need bases. So we got these and it came with an old watering can, which I'll clean up. It doesn't have the sprinkle nozzle, but that's okay. I have two other ones, but it's a heavy duty one and I can always use that or even alter it. You never know. You can make art out of your watering cans. I love watering cans and actually I have two smaller ones too. I just think they look cool. I like watering cans, and I also like oil cans, old oil cans, you know. So anyway, stay on topic, Callie. Um, this big one, big square, and these are really quite expensive. And what you hear rattling around in there is the glass that I was telling you about. And, and I'll show you this first, I didn't know this was in here. You always get something random. You never know. I got a random wooden cat. Hello. This is my random wooden cat, and he's he's got a butt so he can sit, like, on a shelf, you know? And I am a cat lady, even though I currently do not own any. But I just thought it was hilarious, so I'll probably find a place for him outside. And the glass that I was telling you about, this was the base to it, okay? And then this was the... It was a tulip, like a tulip. So this was the bottom of the tulip, and it was made out of this um, this blue glass. And it's all these big pieces that broke off. <laughs> that broke, really, Callie? Wow. So the glass shattered as she walked out the door, and it came back to me. It was meant to be mine. So I will find a use for those glass pieces and find a cat, which we name him. I want to call everything Fred. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know. Felix. Hey, Felix. Not Fritz, that's for sure. Okay. And then the last thing that I got at the auction was gifted to me. And it was gifted to me by my dear friend, Cat. And I love you. I love you, Kat. I love you, Caitlin. They also came out to see Patty. The, a lot of the auction crowd came out, um, which was so wonderful. <clears throat> I'm going to stop rambling on about how wonderful the people in my life are, but they are. So Kat pulled out the next item, and I already have two, so I didn't start bidding on it. And what I didn't realize, because I'm thick and I'm on a cleanse and I can't focus, is that she was bidding on this for me. And so this will be it's so heavy. And now I have three, because I've already showed you guys, I think last week I showed you the one. Look at this one. Okay. This one's from 1969. Unabridged Webster's. Okay, and this is going to be the one that I'm going to, I think, I'm going to check. I'm going to, 
it's so hard for me. I'm such a, a bibliophile. I'm such a book lover that I, you know, even though I'm, it's, I'm going to do art in them. And even though I already have three dictionaries, there's a part of me that's like, oh, you're, you're doing art in a book. Even though it's okay, I have no problem altering books like that generic cookbook I made or whatever. Anyway, so between this one or the one that I got last week at the rummage sale is going to be the one which I have not started yet, but I will be arting in. But this thing is like, oh my gosh, it's so heavy. But she came and put it down next to me. And again, I could tear up at the love. Hello. Thank you, Kat. Thank you so much for being so amazing and being in my life. I love you and your little daughter too. So that's it for the auction. And I'm going to take a sip of some lemon water here. I haven't even made my first lemonade drink for the day. I think it's about 11 o'clock right now. Which is late, but... Oh, and no coffee, you guys. No coffee today. Today was the first day. Yesterday I had a cup in the morning and it didn't sit right with me. Like a half a cup didn't sit right with me, even though I really wanted it to. It reminded me of when I quit smoking cigarettes. It's like, you know, at the end, you know, when you're weaning yourself and everything, they never taste as good as you want them to, you know? It's never the same, but God, I don't miss that. Oh, I'm so glad I kicked that nasty habit. But anyway, so no coffee for me, and I'm not missing it. No withdrawal now. I feel great. And again, I'm not saying I'm never going to drink coffee again. I look forward to coffee, but I'm thinking like one or two cups a day, you know, three maximum. Look at me. I'm already like three cups. Um, the hummingbird's back. So, focus, Callie. Okay. First, I'm going to share with you the updated shelf. Last week's painted shelf, which I showed you, made its final transformation. Final transformation. Base colors. And the drawers were red, yellow, and blue. Well, you know, the longer I leave something laying around, and the longer I look at it, the longer I don't like it. And I just am such a creature of habit, and I go back to the same things over and over again. So I changed the drawers, and they are now all blue. And they're going to all stay blue. These are the sides, by the way, if anybody didn't get a good glimpse. This is the top that was once white, and then orange, and now purple. It will remain purple. Uh, you guys, I have decided after, again, looking at this for a week, that I am not going to do any more further embellishing on this. It's not calling to me the way that the table did. I don't want to put polka dots on it. I don't want to trip it out with designs. Uh, not this piece. I don't know why, but I'm going to call this one done. What I am going to do, as I contradict myself once again in the same sentence, uh, I'll be repainting these. I don't know if I'm going to do them gold probably, um, or something to highlight the drawer knobs, but I'm going to leave this as is for now, and I'm going to hang it in my kitchen, and I told you I'm going to get some S-hooks from the hardware store and use it to hang mugs on or maybe dry herbs on. Uh, actually, that's probably a better use of it. Yeah, so uh, that's it, and I'm, I'm kind of in love with it. I like the chartreuse. I love the chartreuse with the purple. And I'm liking the navy blue drawers now. I just didn't like the yellow and the red. It just isn't me. So this is now the shelf. Um, and I'm going to call it done. I still do have the other piece that I told you that Nick got me that came with this one. It's just a white cabinet, small cabinet, with two doors that open up and three shelves on the inside, like a medicine cabinet type of a deal. Um, that, that one I may possibly do designs on like I did on the table. But... I'm not positive. That is still in my closet. I have no great desire to pull it out right now. I'm starting to feel like projects are piling up a little bit because I, I still haven't finished like that painting for my grandson. Whatever. Anyway. Okay. Um, let me show you. So that that's the shelf. All right. I'm going to show you one thing that I really like that I did this week. And then my, my first major fail, I think. And we all got to go there, right? But I had to laugh. And I really, I thought, and this is what I do for, you know, again, I told you I haven't really been focused. But the first thing I'm going to share with you is um, I made a frame, a hanging frame for an existing glass sun catcher that I had. 
I had this blue butterfly sun catcher that Tom and Nick had got me last year at a, at a garage sale. And I could never, it, it, I could never hang it or, so I, w I had it leaning up against my window for, since I got it, because I love it, it's beautiful. But I wanted it to hang like a sun catcher. So sure enough, I rolled out some polymer clay and I made a frame. And I basically just um, used my clay extruder and I extruded some triangular ropes, if you will, and laid them around it and just kind of molded it because obviously I wanted to have as much of the glass showing as I could. So I laid the clay around it and kind of pinched it around and then I took my roller stamp with the leaves, which I'm really loving. And I rolled it around. It kind of looked like a big fat black tire. And then I did some spirals. And this charm came in one of my pocket letters. And this ball chain I kind of like for embellishment. I just laid down there. And I embedded a eye screw in the top before I baked it and then I baked it <laughs> and I hung on this is a chain that I had gotten from deconstructed auction jewelry and I just added a ring chain at the top like a keychain that's how I hang the things in my windows and sometimes I'll take a I'll unbend a paper clip and just use that little hook to hook them up I have a wire strung across my windows under the curtain so you can't see it. So I love this now. It looks amazing and the sun pours through it and it's hanging in my window. So this I'm considering a success. I was very happy with that. And I don't know if you guys remember last week I had showed you at the auction I got for Tom those two musical notes and they had mirror on them and the one of them broke on the way home and I told you I was going to use clay to, you know, overlay it and just keep it plain black so I had what I thought was a large amount of black clay well I've been doing more projects than I thought so when I went to roll out the clay to do the musical note repair I realized that I wasn't gonna have nearly enough at all I ran out so then I thought nah, I still felt like playing with clay and I've seen a few videos this week um, it's funny um, my dear friend secret hi secret and I must have been watching, and I'm sure uh, with many of you, caught Rita Marie's triptych tutorials. And I was intrigued. And it's funny because I wanted to make a triptych. And sure enough, Secret came out and made it her version. And also, I think Veronica on um, Patty's and Sons fan channel. Anyway, I'll link everybody below. They, every, it's like triptych fever, triptych fever. And basically a triptych is just like a trifold of art showing, right? So I wanted to make one. So I made like a little, I didn't have a template. Again, I don't have a printer here at home, which can be frustrating. Um, and I keep thinking that I'm going to invest in one. But Tom has such a great one that it's a pleasure to, you know, he's got a laser printer, but... Anyway, I didn't have a template, so I thought I'd just make my own, and I had gotten a cardboard box in the mail this week, and it was already pre-folded, you know, so I just folded it over and cut it and gessoed it and made this triptych, right? And you're supposed to put art in here. And of course, what I thought of right away was fairy doors, okay? And to make these look on the outside look like fairy door, I'm still going to do this, but I'll show you my big fat fail. So uh, fairy doors on the outside, and then on the inside, obviously some type of a fairy theme, with a fairy and like you know believe or magic and butterflies and magical magicalness, right? So then I thought, wow. That would look super cool in clay, right? And I already had the clay stuff out because it didn't work with the musical notes. 
So I said, let me roll out, use this as a template, and roll out some clay. And do the same thing in clay. And you can make it like a hanging thing, you know? With the doors, right? So what did I do? I did that. And I made a little hanger for the back. And I made a front. And I texturized everything with my leaf stamp. And I used my mica powders on, even on the back and on the doors, right? Well, what did I do, folks? I made two doors. Look. I made them facing the wrong way. I had to laugh out loud. This one's fine. But then look. If I try to do this one, it's backwards. Hello. Hi. Oh, yeah. Doing the master cleanse. I had to laugh out loud because my thought was to hinge these, use jump rings or something to make it, you know, movable. And I wanted to hang it on the wall and you'd be able to close the doors and open them. And I'm still going to do it but not necessarily on clay because after this fail, now I am out of black clay. So until I get some more, which I'll be ordering, I don't know, soon. Um, but I couldn't even like get frustrated. I was like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. So I laughed out loud at that. And I think I'm gonna, just gonna stick with the cardboard and maybe I'll just paint this. Maybe that's the message here. And we all need to fail, right? There's many, many failures on the way to success. Uh, so. Anyway, I really had to laugh about that. And you guys, I think that's all I have to say. I, I hope you're all doing wonderfully. I, I just have to thank everyone again for the love. Um, special thanks, you know, I mean to everyone, but special, special thanks to Marianne and Kelly and Secret and Victor, Angie. I love you guys. Um, anyone who comes on and comments, Melissa. Ermgard, I, I, which I could name you guys all, you know, I, I just love it and I really appreciate it and it, it, it buoys me up and, you know, I've been asked, am I always this positive? And uh, yes, I am always this positive. I'm more so lately, you know, this life I'm living every day, I realize how blessed I am. So I'm so happy that you guys are here to share it with me. If you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you do. I film v videos frequently. Um, and I hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm going to go get some sunshine right now. Take care. Blessed be. Happy Mother's Day. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you, Mom.